Namaskar. The topic of my presentation is concept of creation variations in the Upanishads. Man has ever been in quest of his existential identity. One such inquiry is the understanding of the creation of the universe that has garnered extensive curiosity, evoking a need to explore philosophical realms that could elucidate various unanswered aspects of life. The Upanishads themselves are replete with such knowledge of fundamental concepts such as creation, life, and existence, providing satiation to such philosophical inclinations of man, highlighting the implicit connection with the cosmology and the supreme reality, Brahman. Brahman is generally epitomized in all Upanishads as the all-pervading consciousness that is beyond all limitations of space, time, and causation. It is a substantial reality forming the common substratum for all that appears real or existing. The concept of Brahman, universal self, is also proclaimed as Atman, the self, is seen across all Upanishads. The Upanishads themselves are philosophical texts that provide validation to such deep human inquiries, which are giving much importance to the notion of self. The central tenet of all Upanishads is man as the contextual reference with the cosmos, Brahman as the all-pervading consciousness, Atman as the individual higher self, and the ultimate goal in life as union with the Brahman. Yet the Upanishads that offer pathways to such a quest have also led to a quandary of desperate creation concepts, giving rise to confusion over a highly profound existential question. The suktas from the Rig Veda provide contextual reference to creation concepts that are bound in the Upanishad. The Rig Veda associated non-duality with one reality as the first principle. Various suktas in Rig Veda are direct in elucidating various creation concepts with personification of nature's forces. The Purusha Sukta depicts a primeval being, Purusha, the cosmic man having thousand heads, eyes, feet, as the all-pervading first principle manifesting the universe and its beings. The same principle is taken further by the Upanishad as the all-pervading consciousness, Brahman as macrocosm and Atman as the microcosm. The Upanishad themselves narrate various creation concepts in a highly figurative language. The ancient rishis hail creation as a projection of a latent part of an unmanifested source. Vedanta declares that understanding the vast cosmos in its intricate details is impossible. However, the basics of creation can nurture an understanding and awareness of the meaning and purpose of cosmic manifestation with its plurality, fostering insights into the significance and goal of human life. The Atman and the Brahman are the central elemental thoughts of the Upanishads, providing the edifice for philosophical narratives from the learned seers to self-realization of the understanding reality as echoed by the famous Mahavakya from the Brahadhanika Upanishad, Aham Brahmasmi. The Brahadhanika Upanishad says that prior to the genesis of the universe, an all-pervasive primeval not being or nothingness as death of Hiranyagarbha was present. It produced a desire generating a mind or the Atman, power to think and deliberate on the effects. The detailing of the diverse creation is symbolically posited on the sacrificial horse, the Ashwa, as the macrocosmic form of Virat Purusha, Prajapati, the creator. Creation description is through Nyasa method, involving symbolic allotment of body parts in corresponding cosmic quarters, highlighting the oneness between the cosmic power and the worshipper. The creation from pure consciousness becomes more involved in physical reality, concretizing in space and time with associated consciousness. Only man is born endowed with special faculties of thinking and contemplative abilities on higher esoteric matters. Knowing the Ashwamedha horse and this universe is knowing the supreme being as the all-pervading substratum, the Atman Brahman. The Taitri Upanishad, meanwhile, follows an emanatory theory of cosmogony in its creation concept, declaring that Brahman is the cause of the creation. A Brahman is Satyam, Jnanam, Anantam. It is also the Sakshi Chaitanya, witness consciousness, Atman. And from that Atman, as the pure principle of undifferentiated consciousness, emanated the five elements in a specific order from the subtlest Akasha to the grossest Prithvi. Prajapati manifests the universe as a pantha, a fivefold set of objects in the outside world and the human body, each complementing and sustaining each other. All living creatures descend from Brahman, born, sustained by food, annam, 
ultimately merging into it after death. Man is given again preeminence in creation process because he can perform karma, acquire knowledge, jnanam spiritually. Atman self is more prominent due to his inherent qualities of intelligence, discrimination, reasoning and judgment. This is pointed as a way to reunite and attain the Brahman. Five sheets, the Panchakosas, as fold of consciousness encase man with the grossest physical Annamaya Kosha to the subtlest level of bliss, the Anandamaya Kosha and also the innermost Atman. The Anandamaya is expressed as the highest dimension of human existence, where one is detached from emotion, subsisting in perfect harmony and health. The highest joy can, however, only be attained when man is one with Brahman as the innermost self or the Atman. The Aitri Upanishad expounds an allegorical description of the creation of the universe, identifying the all-pervading consciousness, the Atman, as the first cause of creation, where creation is initiated with projection of thought from the omniscient Atman as a spontaneous action. And creation unfolds in sequential stages with manifesting of four worlds and Lokas and their custodian, the Lokapala, for their sustenance and protection. The embryonic form Hiranyagarbha was created from a shapeless primordial lump representing the man's rudimentary gross form that eventually gets molded into the form of man called Virat associated with all tangible physical objects. Man is again given preeminence in creation, having an elaborate sufficiency in sense organs of perception, emotional faculties, and a discriminative ability showing the superiority of human body as a vehicle for endowing an intelligent life, requisite experiences, and the goal of realization. Many other Upanishads also contributed to an eclectic set of creation concept with individual creation narratives. The crux of all creation concept in its diversity essentially the same. Brahman, the absolute consciousness, was regarded the universe, creator, preserver, destroyer, while Jiva is the individualized consciousness. Brahman is viewed in two aspects, Nirguna Brahman as the immutable foundation, efficient cause of the universe, the Saguna Brahman conditioned by Maya, the cause of the universe. Maya is the relativity that creates diversity, having the three guna, the Sattva balance, Rajas energy and Tamas inertia. Creation starts with Saguna Brahman in association with Maya in sequential evolution of events from subtle to gross. The totality of the gross and subtle bodies of the universe are the upadis of the Brahman that give an illusion of limitations where the pure consciousness then descends into this realm of relativity called the Hiranyagarbha and Virat. The gross body, subtle body and the mind think and behave in their own manner generating karma action in sansara. Creation is then a cyclical process of manifestation and dissolution. The mental impressions of the beings, the vasanas, exert themselves to create a field seeking complete fulfillment through a world conducive for their full expression, expressing through the totality of all mental impressions. The supreme reality thus becomes most the material and the cause of the universe. Only the Atman is greater than all manifestation and is present in his whole undivided form in man's own self. A philosophical rigor of discriminative analysis of the universe and individuals propounded based on the edifice that empirical knowledge only gives rise to ignorance and avidya, which is then rejected. The goal of the human journey is the knowledge of self, Atmanyana, as the path to self-realization and moksha. The universal self is identical to individual self as the pure consciousness with the wholeness of life showing the expression of Brahman in every human being and particles of creation. The cosmos is thus seen as an extension of the all-pervading consciousness Brahman similar to the individual soul as an extension of a self, the Atman. Man and Brahman share a unique relationship where the most profound knowledge and existence of Brahman is acquired through the personal experiences of the seekers. Creation is delineated as a systematic sequential process enabling man to garner the fundamental knowledge projected against a finite background for assimilating the finite nuances of subtler knowledge. All creation concepts are concise vision of universe inconnectedness as the single reality behind the apparent diversity. The main aim of all creation concepts is empowering the seeker to see the universe with the paripurna dishti and foster the understanding that world is only an extension, an expression of the reality. The higher consciousness manifests as thoughts, feelings, emotions and objects when viewed through the veil of intellect, mind and body. 
This is only the diversity expressed differently by the one infinite self. Vedanta describes creation from a metaphysical standpoint rather than an empirical one to reveal its true significance to the seeker for enlightening the single underlying truth of the universe. The Upanishads narrated the creation as a downward evolution to create a human body that fostered an upward evolution into the realm of pure consciousness. It is the ideal form of human evolution recommended when man after mastering the external physical world and its forces turn inwards to master the world within. The primary intent is to reveal creation as a world of manifestation indicating the unmanifest truth. The apparent divisive boundaries between the seeker and the universe then start to lose meaning with the dawning awareness of no difference between the consciousness and the universe nor any distinction between the individual and the universe. The creation is then realized as just a superimposition and the truth as the Brahman. The variation in creation concepts in Upanishad represent the different pedagogical approaches used by the ancient seers, highlighting the multiple aspects of Brahman Atman. These variations also stem from contribution of rishis who visualize the divine knowledge differently through the inherent mental and intellectual capability. Such diversity in concept perhaps also signified the inclusiveness practiced by the seers in recognizing and accepting every seeker's varied ability of cognition, intelligence, and understanding to inculcate such esoteric knowledge. The knowledge was selected, differentiated, based on the readiness and capabilities of the seeker to receive the energetical understanding of the infinite reality and finite perceptions. The multiple concepts also quench the man's intellectual restlessness, leading to a sufficiency of spiritual truth. Thus, the goal of all Upanishads is Brahman, not the creation itself. All the Upanishads guide us that the quest of this objective knowledge can only be satiated if one can discover and recognize the self within us as a true nature, leading to self-realization. A realized man can comprehend the self within him as the all-pervading, overcoming the identity of divisiveness, leading to total tranquility or samatvam and resilience through all the polarities of life, endowing empowerment and success. The knower experiences in his own self the entire universe to be one and is nothing but his true essential nature, achieving the great goal of perfection as envisioned by the revered rishis of the Upanishads. Thus, the purpose of all Upanishads is not to highlight emphasis on creation concepts. The main goal is to ensure true worldly and spiritual welfare of all beings by creating spiritual unity in ourselves and demonstrate the reality of that one universal consciousness that binds us all together, Vasudeva Kutumbakam. In our daily mundane life, we easily identify with individual consciousness. Philosophy, however, encourages man to seek beneath all the essential changes of life, a sense of unity and persistence by practicing inclusivity in diversity. Upanishad is now looked upon as a spiritual education of the future for building a peaceful human society, highlighting the interconnectedness of the individual and society, teaching ethical living, spirituality, social responsibility, and a harmonious life for the well-being of our society. Thank you.